Throne of Eldraine is Magic the Gathering's 82nd expansion, featuring new mechanics, new card types, and twisted fairy tale folklore. Here are six things you need to know about Magic the Gathering Throne of Eldraine. Eldraine is a high fantasy medieval realm inspired by the Arthurian legend of Camelot and the twisted tales of the Brothers Grimm. The set features dark reimaginings of well known fairy tales such as Goldilocks, Jack and the Beanstalk, and the Gingerbread Man alongside new spells based on nursery rhymes, such as a black instant spell that destroys an opponent's creature by baking them into a pie. The new expansion sees a big change in how the overarching story of magic is told. Rather than weekly episodes, the full story on each expansion and the lore of the cards is told via accompanying ebooks. Throne of Eldraine's ebook, The Wilded Quest, follows warrior mage twins Rowan and Will Kenrith on a quest to find their missing father. Adventures are new spell mechanics found on the lower left of some creature cards. When the card is played, the owner chooses which half of the card to play, either the creature or the adventure. For example, if you successfully cast Beanstalk Giant as a creature spell, its hulking feet smash onto the battlefield under your control. But choose to cast the corresponding adventure, Fertile Footsteps, and instead of sending Beanstalk Giant to your graveyard when the spell resolves, you'll send him on an adventure by exiling the card. You can then cast him directly from exile, either in the same turn or on a future turn, meaning there's an angry green giant waiting in the wings to trample your opponent. Eldraine has five color-aligned courts that make up the realm, each dedicated to a virtue such as loyalty, courage, or strength. Cards with the ability word adamant reward bonuses to players if they favor a particular virtue's mana color when casting them. To illustrate, the Courageous Knight Embereth Paladin can be cast using at least one red mana and three mana of any other colour. But if at least three of the mana spent to cast him are red, he enters the battlefield with a plus one, plus one counter. It's not just character cards that benefit from these bonus effects. Sorceries and instants like Silver Flame Ritual or Slaying Fire also feature an adamant ability that provides an alternate or additional effect. Several new cards in Throne of Eldraine can create food tokens, artifacts that can be sacrificed, or in other words, eaten, to gain three life. Aside from gaining a life boost, there are other mysterious uses for food tokens for players to discover throughout the set. Throne of Eldraine introduces three new creature types, Mouse, Warlock, and Peasant. In addition, the Noble creature type, which represents creatures who belong to the aristocracy of their race, have been reintroduced. The new Planeswalker is Oko, a charismatic Fae shapeshifter who plays cruel pranks on Eldraine's inhabitants. Throne of Eldraine releases on the 4th of October. If you can't wait to try out the new mechanics, all of Eldraine's cards are available digitally in Magic the Gathering Arena. Find out more with our 5 things you need to know about Magic the Gathering Arena here on IGN.